Hi everyone, it's Marcy and Kyla from Sumerk and Associates. And it's been a while since we last posted a uh, what's been going on in the market and with us. So we wanted to give you an update. Kyla, you want to give a market update? Um, well, no. <laughs> well, I thought you were going to. I've been on. <laughs> Not leave, so let me tell. When the interest rate went up, it really did affect the market. We saw less listings, uh, fewer buyers. So inventory is down, but the buyers that are coming through, they're the ones that have a hefty down payment. They're either downsizing or they're first time buyers that have lost out in the last two years with multiple offers. And we're not, not discouraged. And not discouraged. Yeah, they were ready and waiting. Like I said, they had a solid down payment. They had a good relationship with a mortgage broker or the bank and they're able to get into the market. We're seeing the houses on listed for longer than one or two days. Uh, average days on market for April was 11. Uh, but there's still pockets that you will see multiple offers. Waterfront, there's very little inventory. So if it's priced right, then it will sell. Condos, they're taking a bit of a hit as far as on the market longer. And single family homes under uh, 600, that's your first time home buyer now. And unfortunately, there were very few in that price range. Kyla, do you have a big announcement? I do, I guess. So the last time you saw me, I still had a baby in my belly. Now we're just over two months postpartum and Mika is here and we're loving every minute. If you hear some moans and groans, it's Mika as I'm <laughs> rocking him to sleep. Um, it has been so special having the time off. I think with the slower market, I have a lot less guilt inside knowing that my mom can manage it <laughs> without me because Leading up uh, before I delivered, we were super busy. It was crazy. Weren't you doing an offer I was in labor? Yes. <laughs> that Wednesday night, I was actually working on my own offer. So it's fun to have a story that um, I, typical real estate agent, you know, doing an offer right, right into the wee hours of delivering uh, my second baby. So super excited that everything worked out after Mika was born, that my mom was able to step in with a couple of my um, big closings, which I am super gracious and thankful for, but that's what is awesome about working with, with the team. And then a big update also is that I and my husband, Eric, have purchased our first home. Yay! Finally. So as everyone knows, we've been looking what feels like forever and uh, it has been since 2019. We started looking and then when the pandemic hit, as everyone knows, we got cold feet, but we were able to, as my mom alluded to, build that down payment and that's what really helped us in purchasing our deal. So, And you got what you wanted. Exactly. The location, we the style of home. Yes, we purchased in Innisfil, a four bedroom, which we were very patient on and Everyone in our sphere told us, you might have to think about something smaller, look at a townhouse. But Eric was determined. He has spent the last 12 years working and saving. Yeah. A lot better at saving than I am. <laughs> but that's what we wanted as a family home. And now where we are, unfortunately, has just become too small for us, but we are super excited to get into our own house. Mika will have a room. Harper has another, like her own room again, but it's just really special and to have a guest bedroom because being in Innisfil, we want our family to come and visit and stay the night. So we are super thrilled with that update. Yeah, and that's exciting because it's going to change the dynamics of our business that you're going to be in Innisfil, I'm going to be in Aurelia and we can service all those clients from Aurelia to Innisfil. In between. Another update is that Remax Aurelia has retired and they have a new name. Yes. It's Remax Right Move. Same location, same agents, same owners, same owners, just a new name, new refresh. Yeah. That's and great. So if you see new branding, nothing Remax Aurelia Realty 1996 has just updated and it is gone into the uh, 21st century. And what better way for right move between early and NSL? That's right. <laughs> so it suits our branding perfectly. We had our, Mon our May challenge of get out and exercise and a 31 day challenge, which has been fun. Thank you to everyone who has sent in entries, whether it was one or two or every day. We had some diehard uh, family members, yay Linda, Hannah. <laughs> 
and uh, it, that was been very exciting and we'll be doing the draw shortly for a hundred dollar Lululemon gift card next month stay tuned we're going to have a wellness challenge it won't be as long but just we're trying to promote healthy eating because I know that I really suffer from not. <laughs> I start a diet on a Monday or Tuesday and I'm great until four o'clock and then it falls off the wall. The, <laughs> the wagon. I fall off the wagon. So we really want to uh, promote that. Just a two-week challenge and uh, there'll be further details to follow. I just want to reiterate, do not be discouraged by the market. We went through something like this in 2017 and we survived. Yes, costs are going up. I mean, you've got gas, food, inflation. But if you work with a seasoned local realtor, then we can sit down and have a conversation. Whether or not you want to downsize, whether or not you want to look for a rental, we can offer solutions. So please don't hesitate to call us. We can meet for a coffee, just have a conversation. It's all good. So thanks again for joining our June update with market stats as well as just our personal updates please stay tuned as we have some big exciting news for our next video we can't wait to share it with everyone Bye. have a great day